IVF rates have been increasing worldwide and there is no doubt that IVF pregnancies are risky. There are many processes that make these pregnancies risky, from the methods used to stimulate follicles to the retrieval of eggs, collection of sperm, processes related to fertilization of eggs, the first three to five days of the resulting embryo spent in special solutions outside the body, and the transfer of the embryo into the uterus. All of these processes create serious external influences starting from the egg. Therefore, there has always been concern about the risky nature of the results obtained. Accumulated knowledge, information, and research results over the last 20 to 30 years have shown that pregnancies obtained through IVF are riskier. Firstly, IVF creates a risk for multiple pregnancies. Most of the pregnancies obtained through IVF are greatly influenced by this factor. Although the number of embryo transfers has been limited and the rate of triple pregnancies has been significantly reduced, twin pregnancy rates are still high. Low birth weight, preterm delivery, and placenta problems are more common in both multiple and singleton pregnancies. Published results also show that structural and chromosomal abnormalities occur more frequently in IVF pregnancies. When you gather together the specific health issues of children born through IVF, it can be summarized that they are generally riskier than pregnancies obtained through natural methods. Prenatal follow-up requires more care and attention, and the birth process requires more attention as well.